Digital time is pretty straightforward. The, normally it's written with one number followed by a colon and then more two numbers to the right. Um, the numbers to the right, that corresponds to the number of minutes and this is the number of hours, which could be a single digit or two digits. So here, this means 12 um, hours and zero minutes. So when it, when it ends in zero, zero, that is o'clock, exactly. So this is 12 o'clock. Here we've got 15 minutes after three, so 3.15. And 15 minutes past three is otherwise known as quarter past. So when it's a uh, 15, then that is a quarter past. If it's a 30, we've got a half past. So 4.30, that's half past four. And when it's 45, then we're gonna say quarter two, but it's not quarter to five, that is quarter to six. And when we've got it a random number here, then obviously we can't say quarter past, half past, or any other fraction. We just read it as 10, 23 nice and easy. Now analog clocks can be a real problem for a lot of people. Um, well I suppose it's a generational thing um, but I would imagine if you're under 30 then you're much more familiar with digital time than analog time. So when the longer hand is at the 12 and the shorter hand is pointing to a number like this then that is exactly three o'clock because the it's three o'clock the the o'clock is because the um, longer hand is on the 12 and it's three o'clock because the short hand is at the three. So here's another example where the long hand is on the 12 and the shorter hand is on the eight. So that is eight o'clock. This final example here, I'll draw in the long hand on the 12 and the shorter hand on the six. So that is six o'clock. Now when the, um, when the long hand is on the six, that means we are at half past a certain number. Now, when the long hand is on the six, then the short hand is gonna be halfway between two numbers. So here, the short hand is halfway between one and two, and this big hand is on the six, so that's half past one. Here, the long hand is on the six, so it's half past something. The short hand is between the eight and the nine, so that's half past eight. And one more example, the long hand is on the six, and the short hand is between 10 and 11, so that is half past 10. When the long hand is on the three and the shorter hand is just a tiny bit more than one number, then it's quarter past something. When the long hand is on the three, we know we're talking about quarter past. Uh, and here, th this shorter hand is just beyond the four, so that's quarter past four. Here, I'm gonna draw the long hand on the three and the shorter hand pointing just past the seven, so that's quarter past seven. And here's one more example. The longer hand is on the three and the shorter hand is just past the three, so that is quarter past three. When the longer hand is on the nine, we are now quarter two. Now, when the long hand is on the nine, then the short hand will be between, but very close to the next number. So for example, here I've drawn it is between nine and 10, but it's getting, it's approaching the 10. So here this means quarter to 10. If the long hand is on the nine and the short hand is between the one and the two and it's very close to two, then that is quarter to two. And a final example, long hand is on the nine and the short hand is between the six and the seven, but closer to the seven than the six, then that is quarter to seven. Now, other random times can be, um, for example, if I do the long hand on the two and the short hand on the four, then we are past four, but here, every unit here corresponds to five minutes. So five, 10, we know that 15 is quarter past, four is 20 past, five is, so all of these numbers correspond to five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, and then we've got half past because 30 minutes is half of the full hour. So when the short hand is between say the four and the five and the long hand is on the two, then that corresponds to 10 past four. So that will be written as 410 in digital time. If the long hand is on the five and the short hand is between the seven and the eight, then that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25 past seven. And if the long hand is on the four and the short hand is between the 12 and the one, It'll be slightly close to the 12 and the one, then that is five, 10, 15, 20, 20 past 12. 
When the long hand is goes beyond the six, so for example, if the long hand is on the seven, then what we're going to do is, when it was passed, we were going five, 10, 15, 20, 25. But in the other direction from 12, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. What this means is if when the long hand is on the seven and the short hand is, for example, between the two and the three, then this is 25, two, three. Okay. Um, learning to tell the time using an analog clock will require quite a lot of practice and a lot more than just watching this quick um, five minute video. When the long hand is on the 10, then that means we are 5, 10, 10, 2. Uh, and if the short hand was between the two and the three, then that is 10 to three. And if the long hand was, for example, on the eight, then that's 5, 10, 15, 22, 22, let's, and the short hand is here, then that would be 20 to seven.